Good morning. It is March 11th, 2024. Uh, Jamie Green here um, in my uh, Jamie's Channel series, uh, a series about uh, a number of things, uh, uh, athletic and, and otherwise, um, as we try to prepare for some, some long swims and, and some shorter swims over the next over the next little while, uh, it's been a been a good week. Um, several things to update folks on uh, today. Um, I received back actually this morning a um, uh, an email from one of the boat captains that I had reached out to uh, regarding um, uh, a boat accompanying me on uh, a, an attempt to swim the English Channel in the summer of 2026. I had sent in a, uh, a request. Uh, they went live uh, for 2026 on the 1st of March, um, and uh, I sent at uh, exactly 12 o'clock. I sent in, in England, uh, so it was the day before in the United States, in Atlanta, where I live. I had sent right at the stroke of midnight a, uh, a request and uh, received back from something. Apparently, they got lots of requests right at the stroke of midnight, so. Uh, uh, first and second positions are apparently taken. Um, uh, I'm a little shocked about that, but I am next. Um, if somebody declines, I'm next on the list. So hopefully I'll get uh, a first or second position um, offered to me by that captain. There's a, another boat I know that, that doesn't go live until the 1st of July. Um, and then I'll, uh, and the, uh, I'm doing this all through the Channel Swimming Association. There's another association. So uh, I'm going to reach out and try to probably uh, generate some other uh, options, but, but I, I have a pretty good feeling that, that I'll have an opportunity with, uh, uh, with the guy that reached out to me today. So um, not exactly the news I wanted to hear, but, uh, but you know, I, 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 I feel pretty good that, that, that something, something will happen here that uh, obviously you can't go without a, without a boat, but uh, I imagine that I'll, 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 I'll figure it out somehow. So that's uh, news on the distance swimming front. Um, uh, first of April, actually, we'll start training again with uh, with our coach at, at Ansley, and uh, she's done some some training of Catalina swimmers. So I'll sort of start to talk to her about uh, the 2025 uh, potential uh, uh, swim for Catalina. There, I, you know, I'll have to get the boat and all that sort of thing worked out here in the next month or two, I suspect. But I, I don't think it's quite as uh, quite as difficult as, as, as doing the channel. So uh, there we are in the distance swimming. Um, on the shorter swimming, which is what I've been really concentrated in, uh, on and focusing on for the past few months, um, I've, I've actually done you know, four, so, so four good workouts over 4,000 yards. Um, uh, in five of the last six weeks, there was one week where I was traveling on business and, and was only able to get in a couple times. but. Uh, but it's it's been a pretty good block of training, and I and I feel pretty good about where I am. Um, had my last 4,000 yard swim last Friday. I was I was uh, I was traveling on business last week as well. Uh, spent the last couple days in um, in uh, well in Milwaukee with uh, folks that I work with, and then uh, then to Chicago or Evanston to see uh, see my parents. Uh, swam at Northwestern on Friday. Um, my alma mater, but not my, not the pool I swam in. And they have a beautiful pool there, uh, not not quite the, not quite the dank, five lane piece of shit that uh, that I swam in in college. But again, the fact that we had that pool is probably what enabled me to uh, to, to to do it in, in college. So I can't be, I can't complain too much. Uh, the, the the place where I, I swam in in college is uh, Patton Gymnasium. Uh, they took the, the piece of the, of, the, of the thing that had been the pool and they turned it into an indoor golf training area. And uh, I've yet to be able to get in there. I've, I've tried to go in there a couple times, but there hadn't been anybody around to let me in to see what it looked like. I would love to get in there and uh, you know, go in the swing, sort of the, the simulators. And I think they have a sand trap, uh, but uh, probably a lot more fun than, uh, than, 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 than swimming. Um, so anyway, uh, but but I've started this week. I, I, I have a swim meet coming up um, on Saturday and Sunday at, at Dynamo. It's a master's swim meet. Um, I've been doing mostly freestyle in my training, and I'm swimming a lot of freestyle races this weekend um, on 
On Saturday, I'll be doing the 50 free and the 200 free. And then on Sunday, I'll be doing the 500 free, the 100 free, and then just for shits and grins, I'll be doing the 100 IM um, at, the, at the end of the meet. So just swim in five races. Um, this, this meet um, is not all of that big in terms of the number of competitors, and so it tends to go pretty quickly. Um, you know, and I don't want to, uh, you, you can swim four events a day, but I, I, I just want to kind of focus on a few. Uh, the 500 is really the, the one that I'm most focused on. I need to achieve a qualifying time for the Masters Nationals, which uh, are coming up in June. Um, I have qualifying times in, in, in my other races for Masters Nationals. So um, so this, uh, hopefully, uh, I'll, I'll look to improve them a little bit. But um, um, and just want to really see where where I am. Um, you know, I've, I've lost some speed over the last several years, and uh, you know, I want to see whether the the new regime I'm training a little bit harder. I'm I'm very focused on my protein intake. I've been doing some strength training. Um, I've cut alcohol from my from my life, and so I want to see whether all of those things might. Uh, might help relative to uh, sort of recent pool meets. I don't do pool meets that often or haven't um, in the last several years. The last time I competed, uh, well, I swam one meet last summer, just uh, uh, sort of a summer league, uh, just swam 50s, was no big deal. Uh, but then uh, the, the last more serious competition was I, I participated in the Masters Nationals two years ago, had a good mile swim there, and uh, the mile was the first day of the meet, and I was just wrecked the rest of the meet. I was very sore, didn't feel like I swam all that well, had an okay 200 IM, but uh, the other stuff was all really, really crappy. Um, so it'll be interesting to see kind of where we are. As I said, sort of a 4,000-yard swim on Friday at, at Northwestern, uh, capped a full workout week. I was at 16,000 yards for the week, so really an average of 4,000 yards per workout. So beginning to lower, even last week, my, my yardage, uh, I'm really going to try to pull the string this week and, and taper, uh, rest up a bit for the, uh, for the meet this weekend. Um, got in this morning at Ansley. Uh, swam 3,100, just uh, basically warmed up, did some 50s on 50, um, did a little bit of kicking, um, swam a little easy, did a few sprints, and then swam down. So this is uh, definitely uh, in the in the taper kind of kind of period. Normally in a workout, uh, you know, I'll get my heart rate up anywhere between 165 and 173, 174. Uh, I think I maxed it out today at 141. So um, definitely working on on, on, a, on a taper week. Um, probably swim again. Not not doing strength training also this week. Um, uh, sort of knocking that out. And so um, we'll get back to all of the strength training and high yardage and all that sort of stuff next week. But this week is really you know all about tapering and and and. Uh, um, We'll see whether the, the training block and the taper um, work. Now, having not done um, having not done a um, a meet, so I don't really have a a uh, you know in season time, uh, but I, I kind of know where I am. And uh, you know, it's been um, I, I've had some repeats, uh, some swims that that uh, that have been really really tough intervals and, and pretty fast relative to where I've been the last couple of years. Um, you know, did in, in my sprinting both today and uh, on Friday, I did some, some 25s at, at Northwestern um, and, and this morning. And, uh, you know, I'm getting it going uh, faster than I have in a couple of years on those. So I, I'm hopeful that the speed will translate, uh, but you never really know until you compete. Um, uh, I'm going to suit up this weekend, meaning I'm going to wear a tech suit. I bought a $300 tech suit at the Masters Nationals just because it was very hard not to and everybody else is wearing the damn things. Um, so I'll be squeezing into a, a tech suit this weekend and hopefully that'll that'll help me some and uh, you know we'll, we'll, we'll keep everyone posted on, uh, on, on, the, on the progress and you know hopefully the taper uh, will, will be uh, be feeling good. I may or may not shave. Um, uh, I probably should, but uh, it's, it's uh, I don't know whether uh, whether I whether I will or not. Um, it's just a pain in the pain in the butt to do. 
So actually a pain everywhere else where you potentially could, could cut yourself. So um, again, uh, feeling, feeling good about things. We'll, we'll, we'll see where they are though. Um, as, I, as I mentioned, you know, the, the, the things that I've really been doing differently uh, relative to the last couple of years have been, have been a real focus on, on my diet, uh, particularly making sure that I, that I get enough protein um, uh, trying to be in the 125, 130 to 150, 160 gram a day uh, protein, which uh, is harder than you think. You got to really, you got to really work at it, um, and that even including a big protein shake after a, after a morning workout. So, um, you know, we we've been doing that. Uh, we're now into um, I guess week 10 of uh, of no alcohol. Uh, which uh, has been quite a bit easier, actually, than, than I thought it was going to be. Um, it turns out I really do enjoy uh, the uh, no alcohol beer, particularly as I've said, the, the athletic is is fantastic. Really, all of that, like the the copper ale and the IPA, are, are both really really good. Um, and then uh, Peroni, um, uh, no alcohol, uh, Peroni Zero, I guess, is is is, is fantastic. You know, real light kind of pilsnery um, beer. I don't know whether whether regular Peroni is a pilsner or a lager, but it's a very light lager if it is a lager. And uh, um, to me, the the Peroni Zero is virtually indistinguishable from the um, from the uh, regular Peroni, which is a good uh, lightish beer. So you know, that's 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 been really uh, really nice uh, finding that I can do this um, without that much difficulty and and you know it's uh, all of the stuff that happens to you when you stop drinking have been happening with me my sleep has been much much better um, you know I feel as if uh, you know, I'm prepared for workouts uh, in, in a much uh, better way waking up well rested um, you know feeling just feel feeling good so we'll see whether that that translates into fast swimming I hope that it does whether it does or not, I think that I'm I'm pretty well committed to maintaining um, this this idea of no alcohol for for, for the foreseeable future. Um, having having sort of spent time um, um, delving into Andrew Huberman's work on the effects of alcohol on the body, um, it just uh, it, it seems to me that the upside isn't. Uh, isn't isn't really there. Um, I was out of town, as I said last week. I, I, I was in Milwaukee with uh, with the group, the investment group that I've been working with, and then and then spent a little bit of time uh, with my with my parents, um, and uh, sort of hung out with my dad. Um, and uh, we went out to dinner on Friday night at his club, and uh, he had an old fashioned and. It was tough not having an old-fashioned because it sure looked good. But, uh, you know, uh, zero alcohol beer uh, got me through that dinner. And uh, hopefully we'll, 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 continue to, we'll continue to be sort of the, the, the way that we go. Um, that's really all this week. You know, it's, uh, again, a little disappointed on the, uh, on the boat captain, but, I, but I'm optimistic. I, I've, I've got a feeling that it's going to work out. If not with this guy, with with with, with uh, somebody else, and then uh, we'll keep everyone posted on uh, on the swimming this weekend. So have a great week and uh, be good. Thanks.